I'm a rising star in Google's top contributor program. My rising star status is a result of my volunteer contributions to the forum, helping people figure out and troubleshoot the problems they're experiencing with their Gmail accounts. And being part of the rising star program has its perks. And the best perk I've received to date is I was given early access to Google's new inbox for Gmail. And at first glance, I didn't really like it that much, which is not surprising because as humans, we hate change, especially me. And even if the change is for the better. When I logged into the new Gmail for inbox for Gmail, I immediately went, what? It totally turned me upside down. I've spent a ton of time optimizing my workflow in the standard Gmail interface. And so I immediately assumed that I wasn't gonna like it. Then I reminded myself, change is hard and habits die even harder. So I gave it a fair college try. And after just a few days of learning the new interface and playing around with all the new features and functionality, I have to admit, I'm hooked. Specifically, there are two new inbox for Gmail features that have made me fall in love with the new Gmail design. And I wanna show them to you. This is the standard Gmail inbox interface. As you can see in my primary inbox, I have one new unread email and six emails that I have read but yet to respond to. Within my category tabs, I have a couple of promotion emails and a few newsletters in my updates that I need to process and archive. I've gotten very used to managing my inbox this way. It's an interface I work with every day. And because of that, it's the interface I'm comfortable with. Now here's Google's new inbox for Gmail. As you can see, it looks very different. What you notice right away is that Gmail's category labels, primary, social, promotions, updates, and forums are no longer segmented into tabs. In Gmail's new inbox interface, category labels are bundled together within the primary inbox view. Instead of a tabbed interface, you can see what's new in each bundle in your inbox without even opening it. To view new messages in a bundle, instead of the old way of clicking on the category tab, you now just click on the bundle to expand it. And to collapse a bundle category, you just click on the category name. But what I really want to show you in this tutorial is two new specific features that make the new inbox for Gmail a better way to manage and process your email. In the standard Gmail interface, emails you have opened but have yet to reply to are listed by order of date received, with, of course, the most recent on top. In the new Gmail, your inbox is still listed by the most recent received but it now allows you to add some context around what is required of you in order to reply and archive the email as done. For most of us, our email is our default to-do list. And in this new interface, it makes it much easier and much better to use your email as a task manager. For example, I received an email from a friend asking me for a testimonial. There's nothing in the subject line that suggests that's what I'm being asked to do. With the new remember to field, I can write a note to myself to specify what I need to do in order to respond and complete the specific task that has been requested of me. Now when I look at in my inbox, I don't see a list of mostly uninformative subject lines. I see the notes that I've entered to remind myself what specifically I need to do, what task I need to do, or what action I need to take in order to reply to the email and archive it and get it out of my inbox. My second favorite feature is the option to snooze emails. You can now snooze emails or reminders until you want to deal with them. So it could be later in the day, next week, or at some point in the future. As you can see, I snoozed a bunch of emails in the last week. So often there are emails I need to take action on, I need to read, or I need to check them out later at some point, but they're not a priority to do today. Instead of letting them sit in my inbox, distracting me from important emails that I really do need to take action on as soon as possible, I can hit the snooze button and choose a date and time that I would like Gmail to send those emails back into my main inbox. Snoozing an email is basically saying, hey Gmail, archive this right now, but send it back into my inbox at this specific date and time. The new inbox for Gmail is 
awesome because of its minimalist design. But what is so powerful is that my inbox is now a better way to manage what's important versus what can wait. Now I can write quick notes to remind myself exactly what I need to do, what actions I need to take or information I need to have in order to follow up, archive, and move on to the next message. For me, this is a game changer. I'm loving this new way to manage my email. It takes a bit of getting used to the whole new interface. But once you do, you will never want to go back to the old Gmail. Want more tutorials on how to use and get the most out of Google's new inbox for Gmail? Sign up below and I'll send you more inbox for Gmail tutorial goodness.